Hi guys, it's Sabrina. Welcome back to one of my classes. I really love animals and I really love hearing birds singing outside of my window. So today I want to show you how to create this cute bird with a super modern shape. To create this project, we are going to use Autodesk Fusion 360. So open the program and let's start with this new class together. Step one. The first thing we need to do to create this project is prepare the sketches and the planes for the loft. The loft tool is a super useful tool to create particular shapes. The loft merges in an organic transition two or more sketches on different planes. So the first step consists in preparing the planes. We use the offset tool in the construction section of the top menu to create a 10 mm offset of the left plane. Then, we repeat the operation to create a second plane, 10 mm far from the previous one. We keep repeating these operations until we have six planes, 10 mm far from each other. Step 2. To create the bodybird, we need to draw a series of circles on the planes we just created. But to know how and where to draw them, we need some guidelines. We import on the front plane the image of a bird and we use it to create the guidelines. Select Insert from the top menu and choose Attached Canvas. Select the front plane as face and import the image. Resize it using the square icon and move it using the arrows. We need to have the image more or less the same length of the six planes. We don't need to be super precise in this phase. We are going to create an organic shape, so what's important are the proportions more than the precision of the dimensions. Once we are happy with the dimension and the position of the image, we are ready to start creating the sketches for the loft. Using the spline tool, draw the top profile and the bottom profile of the bird body. These two splines are going to be our guidelines. In case you need, fix the shape of the spline, moving the points and using the handles. Once happy with the result, close the sketch. Step 3. We start hiding the image of the bird. Now that we have the guidelines, we can use them to create the shape we need to create the body of the bird. We start a new sketch on the left plane. We will proceed in order from the left to the right. I recommend you to be always ordered with your sketches and with the workflow while 3D modeling to avoid problems. We start drawing a circle on the first left plane we created. We don't need to be precise with the dimension of the circle. The only important thing is that the center must be on the vertical green axis. Once created, press Shift and use the scroll to change point of view and see the sketch from another view. This is super important because if not, we can't know how to change the shape of the circle. Use the guidelines and move up and down the circle, dragging it from the center and resize it, dragging it from the circumference. Play with it until the diameter is more or less the same length of the distance of the two guidelines in that point and make sure that the center is still on the vertical green axis. Then close the sketch. We start a new sketch on the next plane and repeat the same operations. Notice that Fusion creates a virtual grid on the new plane you are using for the sketch. This helps a lot to understand how to draw the circle. To know where to move or change the circle, check where the vertical green lines meet the guidelines and adjust the circle. We keep repeating all these operations until the last plane. Now we have six different circles in various dimensions and positions on six different planes. The constant thing is that they are aligned on the vertical green axis. Step 4. Now we have all the elements to create the loft and make the body of the bird. We select the loft tool in the create section of the top menu and we select one by one in order all the circles starting from the left to the right. You can see how the loft tool works while selecting the profiles and how the shape and the transition between one profile and another changes and creates a volume. And here we have the body of our bird. Step 5. We add a beak to complete the body of the bird. 
we start a new sketch on the flat surface on the left, where the head of the bird is. Notice that you can always use every flat surface as a plane to draw a new sketch and apply new functions. We draw a circle with the same dimensions of the head of this surface and we extrude it using the Extrude tool in the Create section of the top menu. We make the distance 5 mm and we set a taper angle at negative 30 degrees to make the tip of the beak. Step 6. We need now to create a stable base to make the bird stand. To do it, we create a new sketch on the front plane. Draw a rectangle and using again the Extrude tool, create an extrusion. Drag the arrows to make the extrusion go through the body of the bird and make sure to set the operation to cut. You can double check if the operation is to cut if the preview shows you a red extrusion. Now the bird has a flat base and can stand safely. Step 7. We save the project in Autodesk Fusion 360 Cloud as Bird. Right click on the new name that appears at the top of the left menu and open a secondary menu. Select Save as STL to be able to 3D print your project. Thanks guys for taking my class! With these new skills now you can create whatever you want, get inspired by everything around you, nature, animals, whatever inspires your imagination. Don't forget to upload your file on kirakira.com and share your creations with the community. And if you need, we can 3D print your projects for you. Bye!